trophy. Gave me the bottle of whiskey. Oh, do you want a drink? No, I want the bottle, dear. And get a glass for yourself. Are you boys going to join me for a drink? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I'm off for these two. I want to see Conan a barbarian. It's not, you know, it's just that it's not that dissimilar to what we're talking, you know, all this, what we're sort of saying, you know. It's like relevant in some way, you know. For those of you who don't know it, it's, it's like about a boy, you know, there's this boy and he's, he lives in this kind of setting, you know, a bit like a sort of a Tolkien kind of place, you know. And there he is one day and, and these people start ransacking his village, you know, all these fuckers on, you know, horseback or whatever and, and, and with spears and that, they're taking what they want, like, you know, whatever, you're taking people and... Anyway, they kill his mum and dad, like, you know, in front of him, slit his throat and all that, and his mum's throat, and, and they take him in, you see. I mean, they're just basically doing what they want. And they get him to sort of work on this sort of... Well, I suppose it's like a grindstone, you know? Like a big fucking grindstone and that, and he's got to push it round. You know them old things are sort of donkeys, like, you know, used to pull round and whatever, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah. And, and he's got like one of them, and he's got to fucking push it round and all that, you know, and there's loads of them there doing it, you know. He does it for years, you know. And these people who've like ransacked the village, they're sort of like set themselves up as a sort of a government or some sort of establishment, you know, some sort of fucking, you know, oh, sorry, that's a pound over you, right, Lynn? Sorry about that, yeah. Some sort of, you know, dictatorship, if you like, you know. And they've got all these people pushing this grindstone and whatever, this little boy, he's doing it for years. And you don't even know, you don't even know what the grindstones are there for, you know. You're not sure if it's like turning some sort of turbine or grounding up wheat or whatever. After fucking years of doing it, he's sort of growing, this boy. You know, he's getting big, he's like, he's, you know, sort of growing muscles and what have you as he pushes it around. Like, he gets massive, this boy. He's like, you know, he's like a big Adonis, you know. Got his muscles coming out and he's still... And there's like less and less people on the grindstone, you know. It's hardly any of them at the end, it's only him, like, you know until they finally he's expired. I don't need him, you know, like, to push this grindstone round anymore, like, they just finish with it. But I don't just, like, let him go or nothing, like, no, no, that'd be too fucking easy. They've got him in charge now, aren't they? Get him to do whatever they want, get him, you know, performing monkey or whatever, like. And they get him, can you believe this, right, by? They get him, right, they get him, like, start fighting for people, like. You know, he's, like, killing people and stuff. He decides, no, I'm not gonna kill people and that. He starts sort of, you know, using his imagination, Sophie, you know, he gets a little bit of savvy, like, and he decides, no, no, I'm not doing that, and he breaks out of it. No, I'm not going to fight for them fuckers anymore, I'm not doing anything for, you know, them or whatever, and he goes off on his own. In the meantime, of course, these people who have taken everything over the years, yeah, they're living in this big fucking palace, you know, these beautiful steps leading up to wherever, you know, and they're all in there having orgies and all that, do you know what I mean? Stop giggling, you, all right? No, but I'm serious, yeah? They're in there, like, having, you know, depravities and, you know, they're all doing what they want. They've got everything. You know, nobody else has got fuck all. The rest of the people they've fucking taken from, they're all living outside this palace, looking up at this gold, you know, this golden fucking arch or whatever, you know, like, and they've got nothing. And every day they come out of this palace, you know, and they, and they give a few breads away, you know, a few loaves of bread they hand them out. And these people are, like, grateful, like. In the meantime, you've got, like, Conan, there he is, he's got a few little friends and whatever, and he's out thieving and stuff, taking what he wants, doing what he wants, you know. Suddenly he's sort of, you know, got the power of his imagination back, like, you know. Don't get me wrong, girls, he ain't like, you know, Robin Hood or whatever. He ain't no philanthropic old fucker or nothing, you know. He ain't taking from the rich and giving it to the poor, like, you know. He's out there taking what he needs. And people love him for it, like, you know? People, he becomes like a sort of, you know, like a, like a hero, you know, to them. He's like, yeah, go on, Conan, go and get one. And they start to realise through these messages, like, that there's something better out there, you know? There's a better life for them. And that's what I'm trying to say, like, there's like messages out there. We all have to put up with it, don't we? We all, we all sit here and that. But that's it, we don't. I mean, you know, take yourself by and worked all your life, you know, you earned your money, you paid your taxes, like, and oh yeah, you saved up your pension and what happens to that, like, you get fucking taxed on it again, don't you? 
I mean, you've already done your graft, do you know what I mean? And that happens. I mean, that's, that's not right, is it? And that's what I'm saying. If, like, Conan the Barbarian's around here, he'd be like, you what? Right, let's fucking go up there and take that back. I'm not having that. But we can do that. That's my point. You know, we're allowed to do that. If we can do that now. We can take to the streets and kind of, like, get their messages out to people. And then these people, these fucking nutters who chuck things, you know, bombs in the wrong fucking places, they'll start understanding those messages that we ain't the ones that you fucking blow up because we don't stand for the people who, who are in charge, who are in the fucking palaces with their fucking yes. orgies or whatever, you know what I mean? They're the ones who are doing it, like. And, and if, if they're going to war, if it's over war, if they're blowing things up about a war or religion or oil or money or whatever it's going to be, we certainly don't see none of that, do we? We don't have any oil next to our fucking bed free. Excuse me, that's another pound out of your limb. We don't have any extra, you know, money sitting around the house, do we, just because of this? And that's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, you know, if we get the messages out there, you know, if the people are going to see that, like, if these people are going to see us at the streets, they'll stop putting the bombs in other places, like, you know, like in Buck Palace or whatever, or in Number 10, you know, not blowing up poor people and innocents in the streets or whatever, because people are worth more than that. And that's what I'm trying to say, like, you know, people are worth more than, than other people's crumbs, you know, literally the crumbs from other people's fucking table, like. Come on, let's oh, get you up. Come on, Lynn. Hey, hey, come on, sweetheart. It's all right.